Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Sandra Brown, a Vice Chancellor for Research here at UC San Diego, and I would like to welcome you to Tata Hall, uh, a, one of our new buildings uh, here on campus, and to this important uh, event today called Anticipating the Future of Science, a Look Back and a Look Ahead. Uh, we are so pleased uh, to welcome uh, all of you here. This is meant to be a celebration of work that's been uh, supported uh, it, uh, by of our early career faculty, both their science and the faculty members themselves, uh, from, based on the support that they received from the Research Corporation for Science Advancement. And I would especially like to welcome the members of our CSA who are here today. Uh, we're very appreciative of your longstanding commitment uh, to UC San Diego. We've got members from the Science Philanthropy Alliance. I think one member just left. Uh, the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation, the WM Keck Foundation, the Kavli Foundation, all in attendance today, and we are deeply appreciative. Uh, and I want to personally thank you for both the investment that you've made in our scientists and the investment that you've made in our science. I often like to brag about UC San Diego as being one of the premier uh, academic and research institutions in the United States. I think first and foremost, there are, there are many rankings, but the one that I personally value because I think it reflects the values of UC San Diego is that we're considered by the Washington Monthly to be the number one university in the nation for research, social mobility, and public service. And it's that three uh, 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 characteristics that I think epitomize what UC San Diego is all about. It's about the science that we do, being able to bring it out to public impact. Sometimes that's obvious and it happens in a brief period of time. And other times it takes decades. And uh, without the support of foundations, we would not be able to do that. We have lots of other rankings. You know, we're seventh in, in terms of overall research expenditures. Na nature ranks us as, as fourth in the country. So we've got lots of other uh, rankings that we look at. But for me, that combination that really reflects the values that we have as an institution is what I most pay attention to. Um, behind those accolades are many, many opportunities that you've provided um, generously to our individual faculty members, uh, providing that much needed support as they launch their careers. When folks come to us uh, in the early stages of their academic appointments, there are uh, a myriad of teaching demands and other types of demands for new faculty members. And oftentimes it's the support of the foundations that really helps them get their own research underway. Um, we're uh, particularly uh, pleased that uh, our CSA has uh, been with us and uh, has supported us since 1961. And I think that's pretty notable since the university only started in 1960. So even the first year after we got started, uh, we had the good fortune of RCSA providing important support. Uh, and a number of our faculty, in particular through the uh, Cottrell Scholars Program, and that is, of course, the Early Career Scholars uh, program, uh, but also for fac uh, uh, more senior academicians as well, and many faculty have benefited from that support. Um, money is important. That monetary support is, of course, Im important, uh, but RCSA provides uh, support in other ways as well. Through the SILOG uh, uh, opportunities, Individuals can come together, share the science that they're doing, learn from one another, and find ways, new ways, uh, to think about the problems that they're approaching and the challenges they're faced with, and uh, to consider uh, investigations from different paradigms than they were investigating heretofore. 
Um, RCSA, uh, they've been with us uh, since 61, uh, but uh, they've been in existence for uh, uh, over a century, 1912 is I think when, uh, when RCSA started. And so we're, we're hoping, we, it's been a successful century and we're hoping for another successful century and thinking that we're launching uh, that uh, together. Uh, the truth is that uh, without the funding of this type, we would not be doing a substantial amount of the research that we're doing today. Uh, federal funding is important, state funding is important, industry funding is important, but philanthropic funding is uh, critical in launching new types of science that in particular are in high risk areas that uh, other organizations are not willing to fund. And I think as we were talking last night, uh, uh, someone said, uh, well, we don't want to be 100% successful. And if that's the case, then we're not taking enough risks. And that is the reality, that uh, to do high risk, high payoff science, uh, we have to be able to take risks. And we want to have uh, creative, bold thinkers and scientists. And we appreciate the foundation's support. So my sincere thanks 